In today's video, I'm going to be discussing 2035 and the new Social Security insolvency date. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. I know just a few days ago, we got the all-important annual report from the Social Security Board of Trustees, and we got a lot of information in that report based on the finances of Social Security, as well as the projections going forward. Well, in this video, I do want to clarify and give you all the details about 2035 and the Social Security insolvency date that they are now identifying why this is a good thing, but at the same time, what we also need to be aware of going forward because this is a thing that they're looking at right now and it is likely something that will be coming unless lawmakers come forward and reform Social Security in a major, major way in the relatively near future. So I want to break down all those details for you in this video, what it all means and all the numbers and percentages you need to know about it. Let's get into it and talk about the details a little bit further. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, or if you happen to be new here, first off, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video. Again, only if you haven't done so yet, I really do appreciate it. I'm here for you every single day, making videos like this, breaking down all the details, watching the headlines, doing all the research, advocating on your behalf, answering questions, doing anything I possibly can for you right now. It's a tough time out there. It's a busy time. A lot of things are changing and we're getting a lot of information coming out this year about Social Security and all the major changes coming up. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about the noob report out of the Social Security Board of Trustees, what you need to know about potential insolvency. In other words, the trust funds running dry, the savings account for Social Security and what this means for the beneficiaries. Now, right now, there's over 70 million beneficiaries that draw on Social Security benefits every single month. And again, uh, between now, as I film this video right now in 2024, through the end of 2027, basically a three year period of time, 11,000 people are becoming eligible for Social Security every single day. Okay, it's a lot of people every single day becoming eligible for these benefits. We have a lot of people coming in and um, we want to know what is the health of the the Social Security program, the trust funds, all the details like this. And again, what we got in this annual report. Now, you heard me say it. And again, let me just say it really quickly, okay? 2035, the new insolvency date. But what does this all really mean? And what happens if insolvency really does come in? And if this does actually occur, okay? There's a lot of confusion about this. There's a lot of misunderstanding, which I will also help to explain here in this video. But here's why this report is actually a good thing, okay? So back in last year, 2023, again, a year ago, when we got this report out of the Social Security Board of Trustees, we found that insolvency was going to be in 2034. And at the same time uh, of insolvency, if that were to happen, that they would only be able to pay out about 77% of benefits. In other words, a 23% cut. Well, now what we found is that insolvency has actually been pushed out a year to 2035. Again, it's just one year, but at the end of the day, it's still one year out into the future rather than one year sooner, right? So this is a good thing, okay? It's not like the perfect situation, but it is a bit better. Now, uh, this is what they found, okay? So 2035 is when potential insolvency could uh, actually occur. However, they also found that at that time, in the event of insolvency, the benefits would be payable at a pace of 83% versus 77%. So just last year to this year, we found that the pace in which they could pay benefits was uh, going to be 77% last year and now 83% going forward based on this year's report. Okay, that's a 6% difference and it's in the favor of beneficiaries. That's good, all right? That's a really good thing for the beneficiaries and for the program as a whole. Now, what does this mean? It would simply mean that uh, benefits would be cut by 17% versus 23% based on the report from last year, okay? So now what does this whole insolvency thing mean? Here's what it simply means, is that every year we run a deficit. Well, okay, not every year, just as of recently, the last handful of years here, we've been running a deficit on Social Security. It simply means with the money coming in through payroll taxes, through interest on the trust fund, through taxation of benefits, all the income that comes in to Social Security is actually being wiped away. All of the income is being wiped away, plus an additional 
uh, amount of money that is being uh, drawn out of the trust fund. Does that kind of make sense, right? So we saw the same thing with 2023 as well. That is what, uh, by the way, the Social Security Board of Trustees, that's what this report is based on is last year, okay? So we're getting all the financials and the numbers of last year. Well, what we found is that they actually ran a deficit of $41 billion last year in 2023 and what simply means is that they had income of $1.351 trillion and they had expenses of $1.392 trillion. In other words, a deficit of $41 billion. They, in other words, they were in the hole by $41 billion and they had to draw $41 billion out of the trust fund. Does that kind of make sense, right? So as we continue to move forward and we have more beneficiaries coming on, potentially um, you know, equal to or maybe less money coming in through Social Security payroll taxes. There's a bunch of different factors here and we don't really know what the future holds. That's the problem is nobody knows what the future holds, which is why they continue to look at these numbers here and forecast out into the future at a 75 year pace. But here's what we find that currently based on the most recent numbers here, it looks like based on the current trajectory, based on everything going on right now, the trust funds may be insolvent. In other words, the trust fund sitting there with $2.788 trillion may be completely depleted in 2035. That as of right now is 11 years from right now as I film this video in 2024, okay? That's a long time into the future, okay? Between now and then, lawmakers should, well, cross our fingers, they're likely going to do something. Is that guaranteed? No, nothing is guaranteed when it comes to lawmakers doing anything. <laughs> There's some things that are guaranteed, but this is one thing that is not guaranteed. But my point is, the, the whole insolvency issue happens when they continue to run a deficit on Social Security. Eventually, that trust fund is being drawn down a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and it's not being refilled, okay? Think of it like a gas tank, okay? Like a gas tank in your car. You're driving around, you get a little refill, but you're burning more gas than you actually are refilling. So eventually over time, you drive 100 miles and you refill with, I don't know, four gallons or something. I don't know, whatever. You, you get my point here, right? So you're refilling every so often, but yet you're burning a little bit more than you're actually refilling. In other words, over a long period of time, as you drive across the country or whatever your destination happens to be, in this case, it happens to be the Social Security trust fund, we're refilling with payroll taxes and interest on uh, the trust fund and taxation on benefits, we're refilling, but yet the, the outgoing, in other words, the burn is more than the actual refill. So over a long period of time, eventually that tank, that savings account, that trust fund will be empty. Make sense? And in about right now, according to what they're saying, it's going to be in about 11 years, 2035, okay? But what does that mean for the program? Does that just mean that Social Security wrapped up, just packs up its bags and you know closes down shop and says, sorry, everybody, uh, we're out of business and uh, sorry, it was a fun run. We went on for a long time here, but um, yeah, Social Security is now over. No, that is not how it happens, okay? Now, here's the thing. If it makes it all the way to 2035, that'd be 100 years. Remember, Social Security came into effect and it was actually signed into law back in 1935. So what is that? That'd be 100 years. 100 years on the dot and say, well, we had a good run. We lasted 100 years and um, that might be it. No, that's not how it works, okay? Here's what happens. In the event that the insolvency actually happens, Social Security would only be able to pay out benefits at a pace of 80, uh, 83% according to this report right now. Now, again, as we get closer and closer to insolvency, I guarantee you, this number will continue to change. Every single year, it will continue to change. And what we want is 100%. Now, can that actually be viable? Well, who knows, right? But in the event of insolvency, it just simply means that they would only be able to pay out benefits at the same pace in which benefits are being collected from payroll taxes, and um, obviously no interest on the on the trust fund. So that that source of income would be eliminated, but there still would be taxation of benefits. So any money coming in through either taxation of benefits or through payroll taxes, that is only the money that could be payable to the beneficiaries. Does that kind of make sense? And according to the most recent report here from the Social Security Board of Trustees, that would be 83%. In other words, benefits would be cut by 17% in order to fulfill uh, any money that was be you know coming in through income sources and then going right back out to the beneficiaries. All right, anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope that kind of makes sense for you to explain it. But either way, this is good. This is uh, good news, even though it sounds like bad news by like, wait, benefits would still be cut? Yes, benefits would still be cut based on this most recent report from the Board of Trustees. But at the end of the day, it's um, a lot better news than what we got last year, if that makes sense, all right?
a year-over-year -year comparison, this report is actually significantly better. We're moving in the right direction. Just think of it that way. But at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, you have nothing to worry about right now. Okay, I would not worry about anything right now. There's no need to. We have 11 years of runway ahead of us. It's a long time, okay? <laughs> it's a long time. Even though it sounds like, oh, it's not that long. You're right. It's not that long. But at the end of the day, 11 years is still 11 years. That gives lawmakers a lot, a lot of time to come up with a long-term solution and they'll probably get something done in that amount of time. If they can't, well then um, we've got a major problem on our hands, right? So anyway, I'll keep you posted on this, but this is the details of the most recent Social Security Board of Trustees report. Just wanted to bring it to your attention really quickly. So if you have not done so, again, can I ask you to please uh, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Totally free to do so. Share the video. There's a share vid, uh, button right down below next to the subscribe button as well. Feel free to share this. Otherwise, check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those in the video library or those that have hand selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comments section. There's a few there as well. Check out those. Otherwise, right now on your screen, you'll see some videos popping up. Make sure to check out one of those as well. So make sure you take your selection now. Enjoy your day. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again in just a second here in the next video. Enjoy and I'll see you again.